Welcome to CCNL, the new collection center, where four major institutions combine their collections. In here, we keep over half a million objects, from very big and very heavy, until very small and very fragile. As you can see, I'm bringing two full boxes. But still, it's only one object. Today's subject is flowers. Hi, Fabrika. Hey, Wim. I see that you brought some flowers with you. Well, I thought it was appropriate. <laughs> it is, it is. Because I, I have something to go with it. In Perfect. several pieces. But I'm very excited. It's one A of lot my of loose favorites. parts. <laughs> Look here. It's quite a construction piece. Yes. I hand you the entire <laughs> set and you make, make a tower of it. It was quite a technical feat and it's rather amazing that it still exists. <laughs> it is. How old is it? It was made at the end of the 17th century um, when the production of Delftware um, was, was at an all-time high. The technical quality of what people produced there was amazing and there was also a real fashion to combine particular Delftware and flowers. Uh -huh. Because in each of these spouts you could put an individual flower creating a beautiful and very tall bouquet. I'm curious. Oh, I forgot the most important piece. The rod. Look here. <laughs> yes, because these actually, funnily enough, are the smaller type of these flower pyramids. They made a hole in each of the segments and with this rod you kind of um, put it all together. Shall I try? Go ahead. <laughs> With a little bit of luck, and I'm just taking off the labels, if you don't mind. Oh, that. <laughs> you could create an incredible object. Here we go. But they really had to have thought about that to create the holes in the middle that were then filled up so you could still put water in them. Yeah. And to does create it, a does it have shape. a front and a back side or is it Not pretty really from all sides? It's really pretty <laughs> from all sides. The flowers do differ, um, but to create these individual segments and to make sure that everything fit together was incredibly difficult because Delphor actually shrinks when you fire it. So oh. to make sure that all the pieces would fit together um, was very difficult. Here we go. Wow. You can see it fits quite nicely together. And now for the most frightening part. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can immediately imagine what an incredible effect this would have given at the time. To have the, this filled with flowers standing on a table or on a chimney. At the same time, you can imagine that it is so rare for these flower pyramids to survive. Because if even yes. one of the segments breaks, you can't build it up again. Mm -hmm. um, and so they're quite rare. Only a few years ago did we decide to reconstruct uh, the top um, to give its, its original shape back. And now it can shine again. And they must have been for the lucky few. They must have been Absolutely. extremely uh, expensive. Absolutely. The fashion um, really started with Mary, who was the wife of Stadtholder William III. And she had a real passion for both ceramics and flowers. And no lack of funds. And <laughs> no lack of funds, indeed. <laughs> um, and she started ordering um, these flower pyramids for her palaces, both in the Netherlands and in England, and started a craze, uh, a short-lived but incredible craze for these objects. Ah. Oh. 
So in the lower part we see a sort of uh, Asiatic uh, landscapes, Chinese probably. Uh, what's the reason for that? Well, Delft was very much inspired by the influx of Chinese porcelain. Um, and Delfware, in a way, was an imitation of Chinese porcelain. So the color scheme with blue and white, but also these scenes are, are very much inspired by, by China. I also love that all the spouts are held up by kind of monster heads. Yes, yes. It's almost like they're, yeah. they're keeping their mouth open yes. to hold the spouts. It's not in the permanent galleries, um, but we've lent it to exhibitions all over the world. Um, it's been to America and it's going to Switzerland soon. I learned a lot about this object today. Let's take it down easily and uh, prepare it for its trip to Switzerland. Let's.